So, this is where you live. Not bad. I preferred the old place. It had, uh, more charm. You don't like my new house? The house is fine, I suppose. But Lowtown, the smell of tar, and the sea, and the sound of some whore plying her trade in a back alley. Oh. Don't you miss that? You can get your thrills in Hightown, if you know where to look. Oh. And where would that be? I can show you what I have in mind. I should go. I wouldn't want to take advantage of your hospitality. I don't want you wandering the streets alone at this hour. <laughs> You're sweet, but I can watch out for myself. Wait. You're not thinking of bringing feelings into this, are you? What about love? Love's not for everyone. It's not for me. It's just messy. I'm sorry you feel that way. Why? I'm not. Did you know I was once married? When I was freed, I swore I would never marry again. I can't imagine you married. <laughs> I was his plaything. A prized possession. He saw me with my mother at the market in Lemeron and decided he had to have me. My mother gave me away for a goat and a handful of gold coins. She didn't even haggle over the price. Bitch. Your marriage was loveless. And you've never experienced true love? <laughs> oh, I've been in love. I fell in love with a man not long after my husband died. He foolishly asked for my hand. I refused to be tied down again. And I fled. It broke his heart. Destroyed him. I'm sorry it ended that way. He was better off. I saved him a lot of trouble in the long run. How were you freed from the marriage? My husband took an assassin's blade to the back of the skull. And before you start jumping to conclusions, no, I didn't hire the assassin. I did thank him profusely, however. Ah, oh, Zevran. He was an artist. You're not afraid of being hurt. You're just afraid of hurting someone else. No, I... Look, it isn't like that. It's just... easier this way. Now, if you're done trying to confuse the issue, I'm going to go. Isabella seemed disappointed that she didn't find anything worth gossiping about. Snoop. Crude drawings in the... Isabella, grow up. Enchantment? No. Enchantment! No, Leandra. 
Lee and Dra. What's wrong, Uncle? There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm sure she's all right. Why are you so upset? Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Aveline will get the city guard to keep an eye out. Don't worry, Uncle. All... all right. That girl will know what to do. Maybe... maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. You had that one. I told you already! I saw her! Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food. And new shoes. <gasps> That's real silver, that is! I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose, and nice clothes, but they were all stained from the blood. <sighs> it's not too late. She could still be alive. Why would anyone take her? It doesn't make sense. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow it. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. Never thought I'd say this, but Gamlin's right. My men can look for Leandra while we check the blood. Any lead helps. This blood is fresh. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. There's another! More blood. I'm on the right path. Taking her. There. I hope I'm not too late. There. The foundry. They must have gone inside. like someone forgot to conceal the door to his
interesting happening around. Mother! <gasps> Alessa! I know this locket. It belongs to Mother. Does he... Let's make this quick! woman in the portrait looks like Leandra, doesn't she? If I ever make anything this pathetic, do me a favor and stick a dagger in my eye. I need to find her. Now! I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Where is she? You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. I don't want to hurt anyone. Release my mother and we'll go. She's here. She's waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers, and, at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. Sorry. 
Way to... Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. But now, I'm free. I get to see Carver again. And your father. Do you'll be here alone. I'll be fine, Mother. My little girl has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? Why, Leandra? The killer used Mother to magically reconstruct his dead wife. They had the same... face. What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker! Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key. You're happy they took Bethany away? No, I didn't mean it like that. I wish magic hadn't touched her. She would have been better off. Magic's always run in this family. It's a curse. Now even your mother's fallen victim to it. I wish you'd never told me what that twisted son of a bitch did to her. I wish I hadn't asked. I hope you killed him. Good. I hope it hurt. I will deal with breaking the news to Bethany. You've enough on your mind. Take care, my dear. I... 
I feel I should say something. I know you're not good at emotional stuff. At least your mother loved you. Not everyone can say that. I'm going to hold on to my memories of what she was, not the thing Quentin made of her. And just think, you stopped him. Quentin's never going to hurt anyone again. I think no matter what, she'd be proud of you. And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? For you, I have all the time in the world. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. I hear you and the Ravani have something going... So, what's going on, Hawk? You wouldn't bring this up just to gossip. What's on your mind? Shows what you know. I would definitely bring this up just to gossip. I didn't, but I would. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Isabella is a great girl, but I think you're likely to get hurt. By which I mean stabbed and left for dead. I know you mean well, Varric. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I certainly hope so. You're right. About... About knowing who you are. I'm the captain of the guard, I'm loyal, strong, and I don't look too bad naked. Exactly. And if I called you a mannish, awkward, ball-crushing do-gooder, you'd say... Shut up, whore. That's my girl. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. It's different here as captain. Feels like family. Hawk. I don't care what else is going on. We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? My mother is dead. My heart's broken. I suppose I could say, at least you knew yours. But that seems more about me than you. I just have flashes of impossibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? You've never talked about him. My father trained me in all the skills he had been forced to give up. He spent everything to get me into Kaelin's service. Do you know what I remember? When he read to me. Stupid things, dragons and heroes. He wouldn't turn a page until I reached over and took his hand. That big man made every step of the story my choice. I loved that. He died of the wasting in a Denerim ward. Those last weeks, I read to him. I had to take his hand to turn the pages, and I couldn't tell if he was too weak or if it was the old game. 
And he smiled at that, at his big girl. <sighs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. Drink? I could use one. As much, or as little as you want. No one tells you how to mourn. And when someone says, move on, you take their hand and say, my choice. That's all I have. I'll miss her too.